Pleural empyema is a serious condition characterized by the accumulation of pus in the pleural cavity, the space between the lungs and the chest wall. It is usually a complication of another underlying condition, such as pneumonia, lung abscess, or thoracic trauma. This script aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of pleural empyema, including its etiology, microbiology, pathophysiology, clinical presentation, diagnostic evaluation, management, and potential complications. By the end of this script, you will have a thorough knowledge base regarding pleural empyema, enabling you to diagnose and manage this condition effectively. Pleural empyema is commonly caused by bacterial infections, with Streptococcus pneumoniae and Staphylococcus aureus being the most common pathogens. Risk factors include immunocompromised state, young age, pre-existing lung conditions, and thoracic trauma. Prompt recognition and identification of risk factors are important for management. Understanding the bacteria that cause pleural empyema helps select the right antibiotics. Common pathogens include Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, Haemophilus influenza, and Klebsiella pneumoniae, while MRSA is becoming more prevalent. Fungal and anaerobic infections are possible in certain patients. Targeted antibiotic therapy relies on culture results, but broad-spectrum empirical therapy is an option when needed. Pleural empyema is a complex condition involving inflammation and the formation of thick, loculated fluid within the pleural space. This results from inflammatory cells releasing cytokines and activating the coagulation cascade, leading to the accumulation of fibrin and pus. This understanding helps guide treatment approaches. The clinical presentation of pleural empyema includes fever, cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, decreased breath sounds, dullness to percussion, and occasionally a pleural friction rub. These findings should prompt further evaluation to ensure accurate diagnosis and timely management. Radiographic evaluation plays a crucial role in both diagnosing and assessing the severity of pleural empyema. Chest X-ray is usually the initial imaging modality of choice. However, computed tomography CT, scan provides more detailed information and is especially useful for evaluating complicated cases. On a chest X-ray, pleural empyema may present as opacification, consolidation, or a pleural effusion. The presence of air fluid levels within the pleural cavity suggests the formation of loculated fluid collections. CT scan is particularly helpful in determining the extent of disease involvement, identifying loculations, and evaluating complications such as lung entrapment, necrosis, or abscess formation. It aids in preoperative planning for interventions like thoracoscopy or surgery. The radiographic findings, combined with the clinical presentation, guide the severity assessment and subsequent management decisions, including the need for intervention or surgical drainage. In summary, diagnostic thoracentesis and pleural fluid analysis are crucial for evaluating pleural empyema. This procedure involves extracting fluid from the pleural space and analyzing it for cell count, protein, glucose, LDH, pH, and cultures. Key findings include increased neutrophils, elevated protein and LDH levels, decreased glucose, and positive cultures, which help confirm the diagnosis and guide treatment decisions. Grading and staging systems help assess pleural empyema severity and guide management. Scoring systems consider parameters like pH, glucose, and pleural fluid appearance. Mild cases may be treated with antibiotics, while severe cases require tube thoracostomy, drainage, or surgery. Prompt management improves outcomes. Thoracic ultrasound has become an invaluable tool in the diagnosis and management of pleural empyema. It offers real-time visualization of the pleural space, allowing for accurate assessment of pleural fluid loculations, septations, and volume. In the diagnostic phase, thoracic ultrasound aids in localizing the optimal site for thoracentesis, thereby increasing the diagnostic yield. It also helps identify areas of pleural thickening or septations that may necessitate further intervention. During the management phase, repeated ultrasonography can guide the placement of chest tubes, ensuring optimal drainage of loculated fluid collections. It allows for real-time assessment of fluid clearance and the detection of residual collections, which may require additional interventions. Thoracic ultrasound is considered safe, relatively inexpensive, and can be performed at the patient's bedside, making it an essential tool for the diagnosis and management of pleural empyema. Thoracoscopy, also known as VATS, is a minimally invasive surgery used to manage pleural empyema. It is indicated when other drainage methods fail, in cases of complex loculations, and for pleural decortication. Thoracoscopy allows for effective tissue removal and improved outcomes. Pleural empyema can lead to complications like lung entrapment, empyema necessitans, lung abscess, sepsis, and empyema-related complications.
early recognition and appropriate management of these complications are important in ensuring positive patient outcomes. Antibiotic therapy is important in treating pleural empyema. The choice of antibiotics depends on the likely cause, local patterns, infection severity, and patient factors. Prompt treatment with broad-spectrum antibiotics is needed. Adjustments based on culture results and susceptibility are important. Duration of therapy is typically two to four weeks. Close monitoring is necessary. Surgical treatment for pleural empyema is considered when conservative management fails or complications arise. Thoracotomy and open decortication are the main surgical approaches, providing thorough exploration, removal of infected tissue, and resolution of the infection. Decision for surgery considers patient factors and expertise availability. To summarize, pleural empyema is a serious condition that requires understanding of its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Identifying risk factors, using antibiotics, and performing interventions are crucial for optimal patient outcomes. Integrating this knowledge will improve patient care.